So we will be adding uh, this plan animation on this DB uh, landing page. I have already created the page, so it will save us some time. And uh, now let's just add our spline animation module. I will be adding it in a new row. You can add it as you like, but for this page, uh, the case is uh, good, so we can add it in a new row. And uh, let's just type the module name. You will be typing spline, so the module will show. Okay, here's our module with the default spline model loading. So first thing first, let's just fix the sizing of it. I want it to be 100% in width and 100 VH in height. And I want this element to be um, position fixed and top zero. So far, so uh, it looks good. And uh, in the next step, we will be uh, all going to the spline.design website itself and uh, copying the uh, actual model, the spline model we will be using. And we'll be pasting the URL here uh, in this field okay so i am logged in in this spline.design um, uh, application and i am the, if you don't have an account you can create one so i will be using this spline model um, in our landing page so let's just click on it and uh, to get the this model url we just need to click on export and we will be choosing this code export in this um, sidebar and we just need to copy um, this URL. This URL we will be pasting in the field in our DB module. Next. Okay, so we are back in our landing page inside DB and we have uh, the spline URL copied. So let's just click on it, uh, click in the spline URL field, remove this, and let's just paste the URL we copied. So you can see our model is showing right now. Everything looks good and uh, let's just save it and in the next step we will be adding animation um, to our page okay so to add animation to our page we need to go to the animation builder for this plugin and how you can go to that uh, page just go to your website dashboard and once you have this spline animation plugin installed you will have this sidebar um, item called spline animation and with same name you will have the link for it and by clicking in on it, you will be going to the Spline Animation uh, Builder page. Okay, so this is the Spline Builder page. Uh, on the right, on the left side, you are seeing the selected page um, uh, select selector. So with this, we will be selecting our page, uh, which we just created. So I have selected it. So you can see our page is open here. It's a simple UI. In Builder, you will be adding the animation in Library you will be uh, you know it will show all the animations for this specific um, uh, spline model and on the right side you are seeing this item which says content goes here it actually reflecting the actual model we are animating and if you want to change this text just go to your uh, page in a spline module and name it anything and let's just refresh our page with spline tool and here it is so this uh, actually you need you when you selecting this item it it will tell that you need to add animation to this model because you can have multiple spline model on your page so you will have num uh, the, those items uh, listed here so we will be selecting our spiderman um, model and uh, then we will be going to the library and this is how you will be adding animation just click on the plus icon and we will be adding a spline animation uh, scrolling animation so when our page is scrolling our model will be animating so let's click on while scrolling in view and click on it so you will be um, shift to the builder side of this uh, page let's just name it something like spider man scrolling and the next field is animation zero percent it will have two options start entering or fully visible a start entering means whatever trigger uh, uh, container you use uh, as soon as it's in the viewport the zero percent will start and fully visible means when the uh, trigger is in at least 100 vh of your viewport and then it starts scrolling so let's select fully visible for this select and uh, since we want animation uh, scroll animation to work when page is scrolling not in a specific container so we will type body so whole page scroll is affecting so now let's just add a new animation at zero percent we want to set up initial setup for the layer experiment 
let's just set position y to be zero position y to be zero scale x to be something like 1.2 similar for the scales as well and once our page is scrolled down to 74 percent we will be duplicating the previous animation typing the 74 in the animation and let's just increase the size of our model like this and let's just move it down a bit and let's just rotate it so we will have some interactive um, animation so let's just preview our scrolling animation okay so it's working as expected good okay so let's add one more animation to our page and this animation will trigger on page loop and we will be animating the head part of this model in a loop so let's just click on plus icon page load let's just name our animation something like flying uh, loop head okay so we want our animation to start soon as uh, this page starts loading so we will be um, clicking on this button and it starts loading animation so the first animation will be um, this head main layer it will be rotating head to this to this rotation and the second animation will be the opposite side of this uh, rotation okay like this and we want the animation to end loop so let's just turn on this starts loading loop and let's just preview our animation okay so this animation looks good uh, but it looks a little faster so let me stop this preview and let's just add duration uh, to each of the animation and let's just let's just say one second duration for each animation and see how it looks now let's just preview our animation okay so this looks good so our page load animation is completed okay so now I'm going to add the final animation on this page and it will be a hover animation and we will be targeting uh, this button for that hover so let's just go to the library plus icon and then mouse hover let's just name it spidey um, cap animation because I will be um, targeting this element on this model the cap element okay okay so we will be um, selecting our trigger and the trigger is uh, the get this plugin now button so let's just select the um, trigger selector by like this click on this button and let's select the specific class and if this the class is not what you desire you can also input it manually here we already have selected the trigger so let's just select uh, well, let's just add the hover in animation okay we want to target the cap layer and we want to rotate y to this rotation and on hover out we want to reset the layer like this okay so let's just uh, preview our hover animation okay so hover animation is working as expected okay now let's preview our uh, our page and see all the animations okay the page load animation is working as expected the loop of the head and the while scrolling animation also and let's just see the hover animation is also working as expected yeah so it looks good okay so our tutorial here is completed i have tried to add as much details i can in this video but I, I will be creating more tutorials uh, for how you can add other type of animations as well like mouse over element and mouse click and other types of um, designs as well but you can play with the animations uh, when you get this plugin so if you have any questions or uh, suggestions do let me know in the in the comment section and uh, thank you for watching